he says I was not capable of driving and he would not let me drive. Can you imagine that? So you didn't start driving until you were 40? 40, he let me. And I was, I was crying, I was screaming. I'd say, I want to drive. We have the car. We had an old car, but it was still a car. Yeah. And I said, I want to drive. And he went, she says, no, you are not allowed to, allowed to drive. So Why? I, I made such a big fuss one day. Mm -hmm. He put me, he says, okay. He put me up on a, he, the Overland Hill. Yeah. Do you remember the Overland Hill? No. Well, I came here in 89. Well, anyways, it's a big, big, terrible, bad hill oh. that it's hard to drive on. So he tried to scare so, you. So he put me, he says, okay. Uh -huh. And that hill at that time was very, very scary. Oh, nobody, no. no. Nobody ever went on that, on that hill. Uh-oh. And he put me on that hill and says, okay, you drive now. Oh, that's pretty rotten. So what well, did you do? Well, you did I, it. I was going to do it anyway. So you did it? Yeah. <laughs> so then what? You got your license? I got my license and, and, and it, nothing happened, but I mean, I was scared to death. But you got your license and you drove around? Yes. And you were even doing extra work uh, up until I think you were in your 80s. You were doing yes, uh, yes. extra work until you got lost downtown one time, huh? Yeah, that's right. The, the way lost someplace, unbelievably lost. I had no idea where I was. Well, I would be lost if I didn't have navigation. I do not have that homing pigeon magnetic device well, I in would my have brain. Been lost downtown. I, I didn't know where I was. <laughs> oh. But anyway, I, I drove until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, no. Because I couldn't find my way home. But then eventually you did. Yeah. You probably had to stop somewhere and ask, no? It was 3 o'clock in the morning and nobody would stop. Oh, and because you were downtown. Yeah, no, further downtown, further. Oh. I was, I was so scared. So that's, well, that's how I learned to drive. <laughs> you know, when I came to L.A., I didn't know how to drive a stick shift. And my friend had given me, I think it was some sort of truck that had a stick shift. And then I had another car that was given to me. It was the Alfa Romeo. But I used to go on La Cienega up that hill. And I used to scream at the people behind me and tell them, I don't know how to stop. I don't know how to do a clutch. So the car was going back on the La Cienega. You know how it goes up on an incline? Yes. I was something scared like, to like, death. It was something like, um, well, I just told you. Yeah, on Overland where your husband. Yes. Yes. So when did you give him the boot? When did I give him the boot? You gave him the boot, didn't you? Did I ever? <laughs> did you ever? <laughs> I have no idea how fast I. <laughs> when, when, when I found out about his shenanigans, he was out of there. Out. <laughs> good, good for you. Oh, how'd you find out about his shenanigans? Just watching. The truth always comes out, right, Lynn? Yes. Yeah. I'm so very blessed to have you today with me in the car going to Ross. What an answer to prayer. Thank you very much. I've been so just upset that I haven't been able to take you out and about. But I see you're breathing perfectly. You don't have the oxygen. Praise God. I was praying for you last night in church. They have a, a bishop visiting and he's in fact rose people from the dead with prayer. He what? He rose two people from the dead he prayed and they came from the dead one man was dead for 45 minutes and he prayed and all of a sudden the guy started breathing another was a crime scene where the lady was dead and he grabbed her foot and said in Jesus name and she woke up and said in Jesus name and some lady had a big tumor of cancer and she spit it out it came where, out. Where, where, where was it? Where was it? Do you want to come to church on Sunday? That that bishop is going to be there. He could pray 
put his hands on you to get rid of that cancer in your face. I think so. Yeah. Do you want to come with? Okay. Okay, good. So at 11 o'clock on Sunday, you're going to come to church with me, right? Okay. Okay, good. And you know, I told James about him also, and James says, oh, I want to see him today. And I said, well, you can see him tomorrow. So, praise God.